everybody, it's Moose Toys back again with another Grocery Gang Series number 5 toy unboxing and review. And today we're going to take a look at the 2-in-1 robot assault vehicle. That is right, we're going to unbox and review this today with all of you amazing Grocery Gang fans out there. So let's look at the exterior of the box. It does say for ages 5 and up, it says double missile launcher. Right here it says includes two exclusive groceries. That is right, so the only way you can get these two groceries is to get the two-in-run robot assault vehicle. It says right up here in the top left corner, also works with grocery action figures. It's is the grocery gang. Your shopping's gone rotten. And then right down here it says transforms into hovercraft mode. Wow. We have a window so you can see the actual vehicle inside. On the side here we have some groceries. We have some rot bots. And then on the back we have a picture of the assault vehicle. It looks like it comes with scummy onion bot and then horrible horn. And horrible horn and scummy onion bot are the two exclusive groceries that you can only get by purchasing the two-in-one robot assault vehicle. Vehicle. All right, let's go ahead and read a little bit about the robot assault vehicle. It says the Robots are ready to launch a splat attack on the grocery gang in their Robot assault vehicle. Fire vile missiles from the roof rack rocket launcher. Use the grappling hook and winch them when they're stuck in the muck. Then transform into battle mode and get off the road for an airstrike ambush. Ooh, very fun. So yes, this is a vehicle for the villains. And we know a lot of you out there love the villains. So we're excited to bring you this vehicle for your very own Robot Army. It does say www.grocerygang.com on the bottom, and if you want to go ahead and visit that website with your parent or guardian's permission, feel free to do so. It says at the top here, flip the wheels for battle mode. Also, flick and fire rockets, wind and winch grappling hook, and then last but not least, quick escape trap door. Ooh. On the side here, we do have a grocery, a Robot, and another grocery, and let's go ahead and get this out of the box and take a look at it in some more detail. By the way, before we open it up, we just wanted to point out that there are instructions on the bottom of the box that tells you how to assemble your two-in-one robot assault vehicle. All right, well, we're going to do that for you on camera anyway, so we will be right back. We're going to get this out of the box. Okay, everyone, so we have our two-in-one robot assault vehicle out of the packaging. We have the vehicle itself right here. We have two of our missile launchers right here as well, and we can go ahead and put those into the launchers. We're going to go ahead and stick that in like that, and then stick this one in here like that. Super easy. They just slide right in. And then we do have our grocery right here. Once again, this one's name is Horrible Horn, and Horrible Horn does come with a weapon. So here is the weapon that it comes with, and it goes right into that little hole right there. So we're going to stick that in like so. There we go. There's Horrible Horn. Look at the glasses and the mustache and the tongue. That is so funny. And then we do have our villain, our Rot Bot. This is Scummy Onion Bot. And it is from the Rot Bot Army. These are the Rot Bots from the future. So here he is. Very cool. Love that purple. And then also the Rot Bots do have two different textures. We have a hard texture right here. And then a squishy one right here. Alright, now we do have some wheels that we can take out of the plastic and we're gonna take that one out and then this one out as well and this one and this one now something to point out is that we have different sizes of the wheels we have a large one and then we do have a small one and how you put them on the vehicle itself is super easy we're gonna do that right now so let's go ahead and grab our vehicle right here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull these sliders out like so so this goes like this and then this one comes out like that as well the front as well comes out so the front wheels are the smaller wheels. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to take this peg like so and we are going to stick it on. Let's do the other side. We're going to snap this one on as well. Alright, so we have our two front wheels on. Let's do our back wheels. All right, so now we have our wheels on our robotic, very cool vehicle like so. And then it does go back and forth like that. Very awesome. And then we do have our Robot right here. Let's not forget about that. And then our horrible horn grocery right over here. So yeah, here is the vehicle, everyone. Super cool. Let's check out some of the other features on here. We do have our missile launchers here at the top. And the way that you launch these missiles is you just take your finger and you go ahead and flick this back part right here. So let's try that in three 
a two, one. Ooh, let's do the other one. In three, two, one. Ooh, there we go. And then once again, super easy to load them up. You just stick them back in. There we go. Okay, so let's check out some of the other features on here. We do have this awesome winch and you can go ahead and pull this out like so. And then this can actually grab onto a grocery. Let's just go ahead and pick up scummy onion bot like so. There we go. We have scummy onion bot. And then to roll it back in, you just go ahead and then you turn this knob like so. And then slowly but surely, it goes back into the robotic assault vehicle. Boom! And then look, we have uh, we have the robot captured. And then to get them out, you can just pull them out like so. Super easy, very cool. And then the last feature that we can do with this two-in-one assault vehicle is we can actually pull these out, the wheels out, and then they can like flip up like so. And then you do have a hoverboard like this. See, and then these come out and then the wheels flip over like that. And then there we go, we have a hoverboard. <laughs> into vehicle mode. You can just turn this up, turn this up, push it in, push it in, and then we go to the other side. We turn this down and push it in, turn this down, and then push it in. Let's go ahead and put our groceries into the vehicle. Why not? Let's go ahead and put our scummy onion bot right here on the front seat so we can actually dry the vehicle and in just a minute we are going to uh, put a Rotbot action figure into the vehicle. Hmm, who should we do? I think we should put Space Jump Pumpkin in there. Let's go ahead and remove the uh, the, the weapon from Space Jump Pumpkin. So here's Space Jump Pumpkin, one of our action figures that we've opened up from series number five, and he can go right in there in just a minute, but for now we're gonna put him back here. And why don't we go ahead and put our good old pal, Horrible Horn, in the back. So in the back here, everyone, there is a container. See that right inside, and you can actually load up your groceries inside, and then there is an escape area for our groceries. And the way to do that is just go ahead and push this down, and then they can come out like so. There he goes, and he's like, he's out of here, he's escaped. See you later, guys. Bye. But if you don't want them to fall out, you just go ahead and close this like so. Also, some really cool things about this uh, assault vehicle is that the handlebars do articulate up and down like so and then on this side as well. So for fun, why don't we go ahead, well first of all, let's go ahead and put uh, Horrible Horn in the winch. And we're gonna go ahead and put him in there like that. There he goes, help me, I'm trapped! And then we're gonna wind it up. Here we go, so we have one grocery caught, and now we're gonna go ahead and take Space Jump Pumpkin, and we are going to put him inside the vehicle, all right? And of course, we do have pegs at the top here, so you can actually put some groceries on top, or let's do our Rotbots on top. Here we go, we have one Rotbot right here, and then let's take our smaller version of Space Jump Pumpkin and put him up here, there we go. We have two Rotbots on the top, ah! Look out, Cheap Town. Here they come. But hold on, before they go to the Cheap Town, let's go ahead and put the big action figure of Space Jump Pumpkin inside. And something really cool is that the hands do fit onto the handles like so. There we go. And then same thing on this side. Let's go ahead and put the hands on the handle. And check that out, everyone. Wow, that is so cool. Look at that. Oh my goodness, if you love the Robots, you definitely have got to get this two-in-one robot assault vehicle because remember, it can turn into a hoverboard like this. Super easy, you just pull these out. Let's do this one more time. You flip the tires up, same thing on the back. Pull these out, flip the tires up, and then we got a hoverboard. Now just for fun, let's go ahead and load up the back uh, with a bunch of groceries because this assault vehicle has captured a bunch of groceries and we want to have the groceries escape because you know the groceries always win when it comes to the rot bots or any enemies so let's go ahead and grab some groceries i do have some extra ones right over here a bunch of groceries and we're going to go ahead and load them up in here do, do, do. and there we go and then for them to escape all you got to do is just push down and then they can come out like so there we go oh look it's puku clock haha <laughs> Hello, Puku Clock. Ah, one of my favorites. But if you don't want the other ones to escape, you can actually close this up. 
and stick that in there. And there we go. We close that up and we are good to go. But oh no, look, here comes Trashosaur. So what would the robotic assault vehicle do when it comes face to face with the Trashosaur? What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take our missile launchers and we're going to flick it at the Trashosaur. So ready? Right here we have our missile launchers and we're going to flick with our finger in three, two, one, boom! Oh no! Stop back! It's landed into the vehicle! Let's move it away. And let's try that one more time. Let's hit the Trashosaur. Ready? In three, two, one, boom! But oh my goodness, the Trashosaur is just too strong for the robotic assault vehicle. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! But oh my gosh, look at this! Look, it's turned into a hoverboard! So it can just smooth away. Goodbye, Trashosaur. See you later. <laughs> Sorry, Trashosaur. Looks like you didn't win this one. Until next time. Sorry. <laughs> But yeah, everyone, that is the two-in-one robot assault vehicle. We think this is super cool, especially if you love the robots from series number five, The Grocery Gang. There are so many fun features with this, and we think that you are going to love it so much. Let us know in the comment section, everyone, down below if you do have the two-in-one robot assault vehicle. Remember, you can use this for not only your robots, but also your grocery action figures from series number five. You can even use this vehicle to uh, to fight the robots. It doesn't mean the robots need to be using this vehicle to fight the groceries because you never know. What if the groceries took over the assault vehicle and used it for themselves? Ooh, that would be a fun game to play with your friends, wouldn't it? All right, everyone, let us know in the comment section what you think of this. Let us know if you're going to get it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And we cannot wait to unbox more series number five grocery gang toys here on our official grocery gang YouTube channel channel by Moose Toys. All right, everyone, have fun collecting the Grocery Gang Series number five. Stay gross, stay awesome, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye bye